what's up? Welcome back. A little bit of a different video for you guys today. I have recently moved. Um, I used to be in the valley in Los Angeles and now I moved kind of a little more south as it were. Um, and you guys have been asking me on IG and also here on YouTube about wanting to see the apartment. So I thought I would give you guys a little apartment tour. We're not completely decorated. Things are still in boxes. We are kind of still slowly moving in. It's if you've moved. I'm sure most people have moved at some point in their life. Um, you know it's a work in progress. So, you know, it takes a little bit and with my crazy schedule, there's things that are still in boxes and, and stuff. So, um, you know, bear with me. But I want to show you guys around, kind of show you the place, show you what we've done, talk a little bit about, you know, what our plans are as far as decor goes. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so I am here by the entrance. I'm going to turn you guys around so you can see what I see. And then I'll kind of take you through. So... This is the main room when you walk in. We did an open concept plan, so there's no like sectioned out areas. Okay, so this is the kitchen area. So we went with um, kind of gray toned with white because I love gray and white. And we did a couple of shots of rose gold. So I got these two bar stools from, I think it was Wayfair. Everything that I can remember, you guys, I'll be sure to link down below. But these um, rose gold bar stools stole my heart. I knew I had to have them. They are just phenomenal, phenomenal. So I love those. I feel like they go really well with everything. Um, this is recycling that I need to take out on my way out today. And here over by the sink, we have a country sink. Um, you may recognize some of the stuff in the apartment, by the way, you guys, from my office um, in Phoenix, we brought some of it over. So um, we have the two little marble potted plants and then I had a little, just a little October decor, as it were, uh, breakfast dishes, ignore those. And then over here, I got these two marble um, containers at Target and then we went to Williams Sonoma and picked up these rose gold kind of serving spoons cooking spoons whatever and then also a wooden spoon all from Williams Sonoma um, I keep Chrissy Teigen's cookbook in the kitchen not that I would eat most of the stuff that's in here because I um, do have a pretty limited diet um, so this is not something that I could ever consume but if you have if you like cooking and you haven't checked this book out it's actually amazing and Chrissy Teigen is so funny so I would highly recommend um, some you guys picking this book up just because the way she describes her food is just fantastic um, we have a little toka thing in the back for smelly good here's a picture of Nicole and I from um, from the beach in Malibu when we did our shoot um, earlier this year. We took it with the Instax and then I found this cute little glittery picture holder thing at uh, Urban Outfitters. So we like that. So um, I miss Nicole every day. I'm gonna go see her this weekend, um, but I, that way she's always with me. Um, block and knives and then, oh, down here we have a wine fridge. We're not really big drinkers, but we do like to keep a couple of bottles for entertaining. And then the dishwasher's over there and then cleaning stuff is here. And then all of our utensils, stuff like that is here. And then I have, um, this is my old USB, um, what's that called, the speaker? <laughs> Sorry, this is my old USB speaker. Um, I got this on Amazon, it's an Uns Angle. And I like it because when I'm in the kitchen or when I'm kind of in this general area, I just like to have music on. So that's cool. Um, I really do like that one. I'll link that one down below on Amazon. It's really um, a really decent price. Um, then we have these fancy salt and pepper grinder things that husband got. He is really into like these bougie like <laughs> shakers. And I'm like, I don't really care. But um, we got the pink Himalayan salts. He was very adamant on the Himalayan salt for some reason. Um, and then we have peppercorn as well. Here are just two candles that I got last year. I think these were gifts actually. Um, and they're just really pretty, so I like to leave them out on the counter. And over here is a mitten. I don't know why, oh yeah, because I lost the other one, so I left it here to remind me. Um, I have a marble slab. Um, I'll explain this more later. Um, and then I had these two little things. I'm waiting for tea lights so I can put them out, but they're, they're super creepy. And I think I got those at Spirit Halloween a couple of years ago. And then some dear friends of mine gave me a popcorn maker and some popcorn for my birthday. So that is awesome. So that stays here in the kitchen as well. More storage down here. And then, you know, our oven, the trash is right there. That's boring. Um, this little towel 
I kind of just want to highlight. I got this when I was in New York at a place called Italy, which I still haven't put up my New York vlog, so I'm going to do that eventually, I promise. Um, we were at the, you know, the Flatiron, so I got this just to put in the kitchen as a little, like, commemorative thing. Okay, so on the other side, so we have the island and we have, like, some pots and pans and stuff kind of right here. This is the plant that was behind me in my old video. I got this on uh, Wayfair, I think, or Amazon. And, um, you know, I just, I love greenery. And so I'm never around in one place long enough to actually, like, take care of a plant, much less, like, know how to take care of a plant. So I'm really big on, like, silk plants and faux, faux plants and stuff. So um, I'm plan on having a lot of them in here. So this is a guy I brought from Arizona with me. And then um, we have more marble slabs. This one um, is monogrammed. We got these at Williams Sonoma. There's an N here for husband. And then there's C because our last name is Coons. So we got a couple of coasters. Um, I will go into this more, I promise. I know it's, it's a little strange. Um, and then I'm currently burning the Campfire Donut Bath and Body Works candle. I love it so much. Oh, those, by the way, are reusable bags. So in California, they charge you 10 cents uh, for a plastic bag when you go to like basically any store. So I always bring bags with me. First of all, it's something I've done for a while. Um, I started doing it when I started shopping at Trader Joe's just to be a little more eco-friendly. And now here in California, it's kind of just a pain in the butt to have to pay for bags. You might as well just bring your own. Um, okay, so this is our table. I'm gonna turn you guys around so you can see it a little better. So this is our table. I got this on, I think it was allmodern.com. More bags to take out. And then there's my purse. I'm actually on my way out of town, so I'm kind of trying to sort my life out. This is a thing I got at Home Goods. Um, I had that in my old office as well, and I actually think it works really nicely as kind of a centerpiece. And when you look at the view this way, we have like metals, metals, so we're bringing in like gold, rose gold, silver, so we're not like metal discriminatory. We love all metals. That big box in the corner of there is another tree. I think that's my fiddle leaf tree that I ordered. I'm really excited to open that up. And then my pure leaf. This is my go-to drink, you guys. Pure leaf unsweetened black tea is my life. I've been drinking it a ton. Then when you kind of come over to this area, we ordered a custom chair that's going to go like right here and it is not here yet. So um, this is our TV console. The TV will be mounted to the wall eventually, but we just haven't had time yet. And so we got this. This is called the Sequoia console. We got this at Z Gallery and I've been wanting one of these for years. So I am super, super glad, super, super glad that I finally got one. It's absolutely beautiful. And then we got this TV. I don't know much about TVs, but it has Hulu and YouTube and Netflix. So that makes me quite happy. And that little glitter skull is from Target from a while back. That is also stuff I bought at Target. And that is a bag left over from husband's birthday. That is also a box full of Halloween-y things I just did because I just did my try-on haul. And then this lamp I got at All Modern a while ago. Um, it's kind of wonky. And then this is the couch. Everything I got online, basically, because I don't really go in store. So this is the tree from my old background. And then I got these two pillows at Home Goods. That throw is from Target. And then that throw is from Z Gallery. And so we wanted to go with like this dark gray, blue, purple vibe, because this is just what we like. The rug is from Target, you guys. This is such a good rug. Um, it's n like new, like we just got it. So they still have it. This acrylic table is also from my old office in Arizona and I got that on Wayfair as well and then I got I really like globes so once all this like once the TV is mounted all of this stuff will go here next to the skull so it'll be really great um, and then let me just show you some of the coffee table books which are not really coffee table books but this is the journal I just got um, I'm really into journaling and I think I might do a whole video on journaling because it's really helped me deal with depression anxiety stress in my life so I'm really into journaling so this is a new one I got and then I have a copy of all my friends are dead because anytime I need to pick me up um, I just love this. See, all my friends are in tables. Like, <laughs> well, I'm not having that bad of a day, you know. All my friends are bread. My friends are not bread. So, you know, here we go. Like, all my friends are Kentucky Fried. If you haven't picked this little book up, it's just really funny to have around. I love it. And then, of course, I have a copy of The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein, which more than anything just kind of makes me cry these days. But I absolutely love, love, love this book. So these are the little books that I have on my coffee table. Here is a photo from my birthday. Um, that's true. has been me and my best friend Amanda. We're so cute. That's at the Jazz Kitchen at Downtown Disney. Um, here are some more coasters. We got West coasters. 
because lol that's really funny and then these are from anthropology here is another um, slab of marble and a coaster and then here's one of my lenses that I'm planning to bring with me and then here's my newest speaker which doesn't look like much but I got it at Kohl's and it turns colors like when you listen to music it like is a rainbow thing so that is like super super cute I just love it so much so I've never done an apartment tour before I've never done a home tour before I have no idea how long these videos are supposed to last so this may be long and if it is I'm so sorry um, I have never done this before so please bear with me oh that by the way it's from Z Gallery. It is super glittery and it is not being done justice. It's basically a painting of sparkles. Like it's it's insane. Oh, our curtains, by the way, these silver curtains we also got at Z Gallery. I don't know if you're supposed to go everything in detail with like the home tours. I've never like I have no idea. I've never even really watched one before. So hopefully I'm doing alright. So I want to talk about the immense quantity of marble slabs that we have. So I, despite having a table, tend to work here on the couch as evidenced by my laptop, my hard drive, my phone is charging somewhere in this mess of things. Um, I work on the couch a lot and because of that I tend to eat on the couch a lot which is super bad I'm sure. Um, and also just drink on the couch a lot like I just my whole life is kind of like if I'm not out and about I love to be on the sectional. It's, it's just such a great little sectional. So um, I started getting like coasters to keep my drink with me on the on the couch because when you're on the sectional you're like you know you're laid up and you're like listen like I'm not moving like this is this is where I'm staying for a while I don't have end tables right and I don't like even if I'm on that side the end tables all the way over there I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with it so I wanted something to like put my drink on and whatever I'm eating like on while I'm on the couch so I don't have to like lean forward and all that stuff. So I started using this cheese board that we had and we have in our in our Arizona house and I was like this is amazing and look at all this space. And so when I moved in here I'm like I'm not taking my slab from home because I use it at home so I need new ones. So we went to Williams Sonoma and found like the monogram ones and and now it's amazing. So anytime that I'm on the couch if I want to have a drink and I'm having the end table I can put the slab down next to me here I'll show you guys it's super cool it's like super cool so basically this is the speaker by the way but basically I will put this kind of a setup because it's so big that as you get up and down it doesn't really move so your drink won't spill well mostly won't spill don't jump on your couch and and pretend that this won't spill like your drink will fall but so anyway that's what all the marble slabs are about um so I have one husband has one and then we have one for guests that's the little one that's over there I found that one first and then I found the the, the monogram ones and I thought those were wicked cute Okay, so let's go this way. This is for dirty clothes. This is dirty clothes. And in here we have a washer and dryer. I need to take the laundry out before I go. And then this is the guest room slash office area. So obviously we're still unpacking and getting sorted and stuff. Um, this is my desk from Arizona with my chair and my little fan and everything. And ultimately this is where I'll do my Instagram lives and my makeup and stuff. So, so this is why there hasn't been any makeup Mondays, you guys, because this is the room I will be filming those in because I need like the desk and the counter space and stuff. But like this as a background, hella boring, right? So we're going to be doing kind of something in that general area to make it look a little better so it looks a little more like homey and stuff. But um, for the time being, um, when friends come to stay, when my sister comes to stay, this is the room that she's in. So we got a queen bed um, and two purple pillows and then this kind of purpley taupey for what or for furry one. And then this green blanket will go because it doesn't go with the aesthetic. Ugh, I don't really care for it. Um, this is the shelf that you guys saw in the background of my Arizona videos. Some boots that I am sorting out are right here. And yeah, so nothing too, too exciting. Um, this is the um, walk-in closet for the spare, which is just, you know, holding things right now. So this is this, the um, kind of guest bathroom, I guess. And when you walk in, we have a nice deep tub, which is honestly one of the things that made me rent this apartment was like, like for real, how deep is this tub? Like. You can soak in here, like my knees, my boobs, like everything, I'm in. I am in, which means I'm taking all of my money over to Lush and I'm going to buy all of the bath bombs and all of the bubble bars and basically live right here, like for eternity. For eternity. I think I should get one of those things that like suspends over. Then I could put like a cup of tea and a book and like a candle and literally never leave. This tub is everything. Um, shower curtain you can get at Target. That's where we got it. It's still available. And I also got these towels and 
this bath mat there it is at target and then i got the little flower thing at target there's a spare towel and a candle holder two candles from friends of mine these need to go up on the wall they are super cute super cute and here is a big mirror hello everybody um and then just some little things we have some toothbrushes that are extra for guests some extra towels that we bought and then this little doohickey one of the things i love most about this apartment they as a design thing built full-length mirrors into every bathroom so girl you can check your outfit you can make sure you look in right before you walk out the house so i super super appreciate that um they really they really saw me coming i have to admit they, they saw me coming so when you come out this way you end up back in the living room or in the dining room kitchen whatever and i also i forgot to show you guys something down here is my stash of candles so uh bath and body works was having a sale so i bought my candles and i'm going to store them here and my life goal as a human is to have three shelves of bath and body works stored up candles because i love them i don't know what this stuff is a thermostat or something i think husband's gonna install so that is kind of oops. So that's kind of the main area and the guest room. And so I will now take you into my bedroom, which um, again, not done, don't judge me. And uh, you know, and I'll do another one of these, I think tours when everything is like installed and done and finished and perfect. Um, I really want that, the chair that's coming for like either that side or that side, I'm not sure where I'm putting it. Um, when that chair comes, I'm going to be doing another one of like my perfect house or my perfect house done. So here is the bedroom. So this is our bedroom so far. We have ivory curtains, kind of, the, those are from Z Gallery. And then our bed is from Z Gallery. So the mattress we have is from Lull, and they sent it to me, and it was really cool. Well, I took some video of when we got it and unboxed it because I have to, I have to show you guys like how it comes in such a tiny box and poofs into a king bed. Okay, so this is our totes unfinished bedroom, but this is our new bed. We got it from Z Gallery, we love it. It's in dove gray, which is a gorgeous color. Yes, husband, you lift that mattress. You tell it what for without hitting the ceiling fan. Hey. You got this. <laughs> Oh my god, it's like inflating. <laughs> Hey guys, it is me, Future Crystal, and I'm just popping into this video because I wanted to give you guys an update on this mattress. So I've had the mattress now for about a month, and I did want to come in and do an update, and I didn't want to put the video up until I did an update because it's a newfangled way to buy a mattress online. And like normally you go to a mattress store, you sit, you sleep, you lay down, you try it on um, before you buy it. And so buying a mattress online I think is a little like weird and a little like things are I mean obviously that seems to be the new way but I think it's there's a lot to be like concerned about I guess because you're like I don't know if I'll like it um so I do want to let you guys know that it's been a month since we've had the low mattress I actually really love it but more importantly husband loves it husband is a very picky sleeper like exceptionally picky sleeper and he likes his mattresses a certain way and all this stuff and he loves it to the point where like we just got a mattress a year and a half ago at home in Arizona and he wants to replace it with one of these so that really does speak volume volume so um it is like it's firm but it's soft it's kind of got a little bit of that like spongy topness to it so you like get just, I don't know I just get like a really 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 good night's sleep in here um we got the king size which I think I mentioned I filmed like I said I filmed the first part like a month ago so I don't really remember what I said but um we got the king size it's awesome it's just so so great and we have it all decked out with pillows and tiggers and bears and stuff um and then this this floofy super fun pillow which is like adorable and and all that stuff so yeah I did want to come on and update you guys and let you guys know that it's been a month we're still loving it it's still awesome um and I would actually kind of recommend it I think they have a hundred day trial where you can like sleep on it for a while and if you don't like it you can like you know take it back and all that stuff um so I do think you know this is something new to me and I have been really enjoying it so I just wanted to pop on here let you guys know the truth that we have been sleeping on it we have been loving it and um yeah I think maybe if you're interested in buying 
buying a mattress online. It's definitely something that you guys should check out. So if you have any questions about the mattress, just leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them. And I'm just going to send it on back to Vintage Crystal from a month ago. And, you know, when she like had her face on and stuff. And, um, and I'll see you guys later. So that was that. So I have this little like piece that I had in Arizona. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I uh, stuck it here for now. Um, so we're using it kind of a storage. Those are my jammies. These are things that I need to go through. We bought some new utensils. That is a toward bra, sorry. We bought some of these like rose gold utensils. I gotta put those out. I got some new trainers from <laughs> Target, which is amazing. Oh, and I have to show you guys this. This is hysterical. Husband and I um, got kind of coordinating Christmas sweaters already. Yes. I know it's early um, and this is his he is he this is this is how you know you have a man that loves you because he's willing to wear a Christmas sweater with a glittery ass unicorn on it in front of your family so this this is true love y'all this is true love so I got um, one as well I don't know where mine is right now but that is his um, okay so like I said the bed is from Z gallery and so are these pillows this pillow in the front is also from Home Goods, and I think so is that little furry one. This bedspread, I've been getting so many questions about because I just showed it in um, on Instagram, and this is actually from Kohl's. This is the Vera Wang collection, which I love their bedding. It just totally goes with our color scheme. And this is the king size. Um, they have more queens than kings for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but yeah. The, so this is from Kohl's. It's the Moonstone Vera Wang. I freaking love this. It's so beautiful. It has lilacs. There, zoom in. Okay, there you go. It has lilac, gold, gray, pewter, silk. Like, it's just, it's so pretty. And it had all of the colors that we wanted to bring into the apartment. Um, and I just love how it plays off the pink on the on the pillow. Um, and in there I have some palm trees in a vase. I gotta fix those up a little better. And then husband is always insistent on having one of these like super cuddly blankets in bed. So we picked this up um, also at Kohl's. So this is the brand, it's the king size. He loves these so he like makes it mandatory. We have a white one in Arizona. Um, and so this, I think it's pulling a little purpley on camera. It's definitely like a purple toned uh, dark gray. So there's that. Our sheets by the way are also Great, and this is my my uh, California bear. Her name is Shelly Mae. I love her so much, and I sleep with her every night. This is stuff we're going to ignore because I haven't gone through it yet. And then this is my OOTD mirror for um, Instagram and stuff. So when I do my outfits of the day, this is the mirror I take them in because we have a nice, we're gonna have a really nice background here. We need to get some more artwork and stuff. Um, I need to go through all of that. Those are my trainers. So yeah, this is my outfit of the day area where I come and I serve and I serve and I serve and I serve and I serve. So yeah, there we go. Um, these are angel wings from Z Gallery. They are a memorial. So um, they are in memoriam of someone that I loved more than life itself that we lost. Um, so these had to come with me to Arizona. Um, I have a little tray of jewelry, sunglasses. I freaking love sunglasses. This is a pink flamingo that husband got for me because he knows how much I love pink flamingos. This is an Etsy replica of a Jeff Koons statue that um, is painted rose gold, which I absolutely love and had to have. Um, some more sunglasses, some hand lotion because I'm perpetually dry in my hands for some reason. And then here are some books. So the mood guide to fabric and fashion, I think is such a great resource for anyone that is working in the fashion industry. Um, Cupcakes and Cashmere, Emily Schumann's first book, I love her. Um, a book about Chanel, which is very, very important to me. Um, Stacey London, The Truth About Style, that's actually a signed book from when I met her. And then A Lifetime of Secret was, um, is another signed book by Frank. You remember a Poe Secret? I don't know if that's still around, but um, I met Frank Warren at an event and he signed um, the book for me. And then I have these two llamas. I'm gonna move that. have a llama here and a llama here. They are bookends for The Art of Dressing Curves by Susan Moses, who is an incredible stylist and a wonderful friend of mine. Um, Fairchild's Dictionary of Fashion. This has everything you want to know and everything you want to learn about the fashion industry. It's literally an encyclopedia and a dictionary of fashion. And then Lauren Conrad's two books because I am basic and I love Lauren Conrad. So we don't have a proper dresser just yet been using this bookcase to store so there's like my drone there's some film equipment more filming equipment and Disney stuff and then apparently a lot of Disney stuff and then we're storing like clothes and stuff down here for now until we sort that out just more haul stuff I know my whole life is just like a mess of hauls 
Um, you guys may recognize this painting from my old background, so we put this here, and this little table is going to house my um, nail polish stuff. And across from this is a closet. Now this is a very like small, modified wardrobe. Um, I'm just kind of slowly bringing things over from Arizona. Um, so I just kind of bring over things that I need and apparently what my priorities were versus like, you know, socks and underwear and, and things that I would wear in the daily are sequined things. So I brought over this sequin duster that I love from Courtney Noel, um, a pink dress. This you might recognize from a misguided haul. This eloquy dress, this is not in the sequin. This should not be in the sequin section. What you doing over there? I'm trying to get your minute. Get out of here. Um, this also is from a thread up haul. This is that Calvin Klein little gold blazer. Um, this I got last year. It's a European designer, a little crop jacket. Um, got this from ASOS. And then I got this beautiful, beautiful mauve metallic um, kimono from Free People. And then this is my misguided Barbie jacket, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. And then we have one of the Windsor dresses back here because, you know, that's always important to be ball gown ready um, as opposed to real life ready when you are going to be in L.A. more often than not. Those are husband's jackets. Up there we have some purses. Uh, what do we have? We have the Balenciagas there, the Dior's there, Chanel, Chanel, Dodger hats. More important than all of that crap, just so we're clear. More bags on top. These are little clutches and stuff. We've got some stuff from Zara, Rebecca Minkoff, Vuitton, Tory Burch, Chanel, Burberry, Marc Jacobs. And then those are the rose gold ears, the coveted rose gold Disney ears that um, I'm putting aside for my sister for Christmas. Because she doesn't watch my channel because she's a loser, but... I do love her. Um, this is my YSL shelf. I know this is the most bougie thing ever. This is my velvet blue bag. This is my newest addition to the family and I love her more than life itself. She is everything to me. Um, this is my kind of everyday tried and true YSL bag. I wear this one all the time. It's a black college um, chevron print or chevron quilt. Gorgeous. And then here is another little YSL bag that I carry out. And then I'm ruining, I'm breaking rank by adding this little Gucci um, crossbody. And then um, my YSL tributes. These are clothes that should be in drawers, but I don't have drawers yet. And then these are some black shoes. Most of those flats, actually all of those flats are from Target. If you guys haven't had a chance to check out this line from Target, A New Day, you need to. It is lit, lit, lit. There is my backpack. When I travel, I am notorious for carrying this ugly, huge, massive backpack that carries all of my technology stuff with me. It's disgusting and I love it. Um, and then we have some boots down there, some sandals I don't know what I'm going to do with, um, yoga mat because important. And then down here we have uh, some motor shoes that are out of season and or I don't know what to do with them yet. And then the lost slipper. I have one. I don't know where the other one is. Here we have some denim. Mostly good American. A um, couple pairs of good American there. A couple pairs of Lane Bryant. I think those are a trouser. Then some skirts. Priorities. Camo. Rose gold. Like, and green and black. Like, what else do you need in your life? Couple of sweaters. And then this jacket is from Astra. Uh, my clothing line, and this is a custom piece. So we do some custom camo jackets for people. These are like one of a kind. So everyone's is different, everyone's is unique. And this was one of the, um, not the first one we did, but definitely one of the first ones we did. So we have that one, and then I also have this one as well um, with leather pockets and then glitter skulls on both arms, I think. This is the other leather pocket here, and then the other glitter skull right there. And then I have my Tony Stark, hang on. I have my Tony Stark bomber, some sweaters, a pink moto, a cape, a comfy cozy thing. Uh, oh, this is my Dodgers uh, Levi's jacket. Um, this I think is from Lane Bryan's. Uh, my Good American denim jacket, which is so, so great. So, so great. Um, this is from Charlotte Roos. This is my babe squad little moto, which is super cute. And then this Lane Bryant um, cape. And then my lovely Eloquy pink blazer that I love. And then up top, I have uh, just a weekender. And then this is more stuff I need to sort through. Don't look there. And then this is our bathroom, the final bathroom. And so when you walk in, um, that's a box of Sephora stuff that I'm testing out that I'm going to put in a feature makeup Monday. Um, some lotion, a little thingy of 
poofy greenness. And then um, a candle. This um, curtain is also from Target. I love Target's home stuff. So we did a lot of that. We did um, gray, so we did blue and gray here and here. And then I need to introduce you to my friend. This is Eugene. He's Eugene and he's a llama and he's judging you while you're peeing. Yep. I, when I saw this at Home Goods, I was like, listen, he needs to come home. He is everything to me. Like, I love him. So I made husband put him up in the bathroom because I thought that would be hysterical. Back over here, um, my counter is a little messy. I left out my makeup because I wanted to show you guys what I use today because I have a very, like, minimal makeup look on. Um, I was listening to Moana while it was getting ready. And then we did some rose gold accents. So I have a rose gold little mirror here, um, method soap. I use this soap dish that has a rose gold thing. I don't really use bar soap because we like pump soap. So I put my beauty blenders there. Um, this chrome is beautiful, but as soon as water gets on it, it's destroyed. So, you know, we got to clean that every five seconds. Toothbrush holder, tooth br or toothpaste, um, a perfume, some uh, contacts, uh, ear thingies, and then teeth thingies. Um, nail polish remover, uh, face, fa that was dramatic, face moisturizer. Lotion, lotion, we're really into lotion. Uh, contact solution, a NARS Laguna liquid version. Some chafe zone, I'm trying this out. I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna like it more than my Monistat anti-chafe, but if I do, I'll let you guys know. But I thought the, the fact that it comes in a deodorant style stick seems like really super convenient, but I'm gonna try this one out. These are my glasses, my Tom Ford glasses, and then this is what I used on my face today. I have just like a very minimal makeup thing because I'm traveling today and this light is hello orange. I'm so sorry you guys. Um, so I'm traveling today so I don't do a whole lot when I'm traveling, but I do like to I have a couple of breakouts lately for some reason, so I'm just kind of trying to cover it up. So this is what I look like and this is what I use. So Okay, so I started with this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I really, really love this. This stuff is incredible. You can use it on your face and body, but it's wonderful, wonderful. And under my eyes, I have a little bit of this Confidence in an Eye Cream by It Cosmetics. This stuff is absolutely fantastic. Highly recommend it. So for my base, I'm using the It Cosmetics uh, CC Cream. I freaking love this stuff. I am the shade medium. And then I used their new uh, dual-ended brush to apply it. It is a foundation and concealer brush. So I used this side for my foundation just to buff it in, and then this side for my concealer. My concealer is the Pupa uh, Cream Concealer. I got this in Canada. And it's okay, it's just what I had around, so it's fine. Um, and then I used a damp beauty blender to go into the Chanel, the Soleil Tan de Chanel Universal. This is just a really nice natural bronzer, really, really great. And then um, I'm using the Kat Von D Everlasting on my lips in the shade Love Sick. Um, a teeny tiny little bit of this Lise Watsi powder. I'm not super thrilled because I feel like it gives me a lot of flashback, so I don't know if I'm gonna ever use this again. But... And then I got a little um, Naked Skin highlighter fluid. This is in the shade Sin. Um, I don't know if this is a new product or not, but I got it in, from Sephora, so I'm just trying that out. And it's an okay highlight. It's not super blinding, but it's pretty good for natural days. Okay, guys, so that is it for my semi-decorated apartment tour. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I knew putting it together for you. Um, I've never done one of these before, so I hope I did okay. Um, and like I said, once everything is like done and the TV's mounted and we get the rest of the artwork and stuff in, I will definitely do um, another tour to like show you like everything everything a huge thank you to lull for the bomb mattress and for sponsoring this video you guys are lit and i love you and i think that's gonna be it for me you guys so if you have any questions or anything leave them down in the comments down below i will do my best to answer them and as far as linking everything i will try to remember where i got everything and link it if i can find it and yeah that's gonna be it um have a wonderful day wherever you are and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Okay, guys, I need to know how I did. How did I do for my first, like, home tour, home video thing? I really hope you guys liked it. Um, but obviously, I am a fashion channel, so if you want to see some more fashion, here's a playlist of all of my try-on hauls. They are awesome. You can get right back into the fashion. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I love you guys.